in this video you are going to learn how to create a custom math icon uh, where you just have to go to any website then you just have to copy the SVG and then we will create a data set of that icon after that we can implement the icon as custom math icon uh, for our project as you can see here so let's start with a completely new project where i have created this component folder and inside this component folder i have this home component and you can see the home component then we are going to create a new folder inside the app let's say ui then inside the ui we are going to create a new file for storing our angular material components so let's say angular materials dot ts the reason i have created this file is so that i can import and export all the angular material components i i am going to use for my project so inside this file we are going to write export constant and we can say angular materials and inside the brackets we are going to pass the angular material modules which we are going to use for our project and for now we are going to use only the mat icon module then we need to import the mat icon module from angular material and now we can save the file so i have exported the angular material but uh, i have not included inside the app.module file so inside the imports we need to import the angular material and we have to import the angular material here as well then we can save the file So now if we go to home component and uh, we can check if our angular material is working or not for that we can type mat icon and then we can try a normal icon like a menu and if we save the file then we can see the menu icon here but we are going to use some custom icons so we need to create a file where we can store the custom icons and so inside the uh, UI folder we are going to create another file and we can call it as icon data in this file we are going to store the icon data like we have written in our angular material uh, here we also need to export the icon data so we can write export constant and we can say icon data is equal to now inside the brackets we need to pass the icon data uh, like we will have a name for our icon and then we will have the data for our icon which is going to be the svg now we need to get the icon data uh, for that we can go to google and search for hero icons and if we go to hero icons then we can get any icon let's say arrow up icon so we need to copy the svg then in the data uh, use the back ticks inside the back ticks we need to paste the svg then we need to write a name 
uh, you can write any name as you want uh, for now we can say arrow up because we are using the arrow up icon then you can save the file so i have stored the data inside this variable and i have exported uh, the, the data as well but we cannot use the data directly for that we need to create a service so inside the ui file ui folder we can create another file and we can say icon dot service dot ts and as you know service is a class so we can say export class and we can name icon services so we have exported the icon services now what we have to do is we can create a constructor to call the math registry and the dom sanitizer which will be responsible for creating our custom icons so we can say constructor and then inside the parenthesis we need to create two private variable one is private and we can say icon registry which is going to be the math icon icon registry and we need to import math icon registry as well then we need to create another variable which is going to be the dom sanitizer let's say private and dom sanitizer and the dom sanitizer is going to be the dom sanitizer and we need to import the dom sanitizer as well and these two methods or the functions are responsible for creating the custom math icons then after this we need to pass a curly braces so inside the curly braces first we need to call the icon data which we have created so we have imported the icon data but we cannot use the icon data directly so we need to iterate through this icon data and we can get the name and data to iterate through the icon data either we can use map method or we can use for each for now we are going to use for each method then for each we need to pass a parameter let's say e and this e is going to get, grab all the data from the icon data uh, it includes name and data so uh, we just need to uh, get the name if we console.log e.name then we are going to get the icon name and if we console.log data then we will get the data so what we are going to do is we need to use this icon registry so we can say this dot icon registry and dot then we can see all the methods the icon registry have and we are going to use this add svg icon literal after that inside the parenthesis we are going to use the name and if you want to pass the name manually you can pass the name manually here as well but uh, that's not a good practice because because then you will need to write the same line again and again for each of the icons so we can pass the e dot name uh, which will be the name of uh, the data which is arrow up in our case then uh, comma then we can write and uh, this dot dom sanitizer and dot then we can see all the methods and we are going to use this bypass security trust html method and then again we need to pass a parenthesis inside the parenthesis we are going to get the uh, data icon data so our icon data will be e dot data now we can save the file so we have created our icon service but we 
cannot use our services like that to use our services we first need to go to app.module file then we need to include it inside the providers or the best way is you can stay in the icon.service file and before exporting the file you can use something called injectable which is a method of angular by this method we can inject our services inside the providers without writing the provider names inside the app.module file so inside the injectable we need to pass a parenthesis and the curly braces inside the curly braces we will type provided in and we need to write to root and then now we can save the file now if we go to our home component we can say math icon and uh, after the math icon we can pass svg icon so here we need to write our svg icon name which is arrow up arrow up if we save the file and let's go to our file we cannot see our custom svg icon we can inspect what's wrong here so now we are getting this error error retrieving icon arrow up that means we are not getting the icon so what we need to do is either we can go to the home component and inside the constructor we can pass the service which is icon service but if you pass the service inside your home component file it is not going to work for all the components to to use our custom icons for all the components we need to go to app.component.ts file which is the main component and inside the app component uh, we need to pass a constructor and we need to pass a parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we need to call our service which is icon service so we need to we can say private and uh, we can say icon service you can write any name then uh, we need to import icon service so we have imported the icon service and we are using it inside the constructor and we need to pass a curly braces to use the constructor you can save the file and now if we go to our file we can see the arrow up icon the icon is large because i have uh, included some custom style sheet for this icon and let's try another icon to create another icon we need to go to icon data.ts and like this we have created our first icon we need to create the second icon we can say name and uh, we can say data so let's try another icon let's say this bad sec first we need to copy the svg we have copied the svg then inside the data we need to use the back ticks then we will pass the svg icon and the uh, name we can say checked you can write any name you want then we need to save the file i am getting error because i have forgotten this comma here now we can save the file then we need to go to home.component.html and we can write math icon and then we if we type svg icon is equal to and here we need to write our svg icon name which is checked and now if we save the file we can see the next icon and you can add many icons as you need for your project that's all for today and in the next video we are going to learn how to control math side nav by 
two different components. Thanks for watching.